Hello, my name is Carsten Beinecke. In this video we show the use of the extended conditions of blend link. What we will do in this example is assigning catalog data to a PNID instrument based on measuring type and the range. We see here a simple catalog for instruments. We have the columns measuring type and two columns for the range. We limited the amount of data sets so it's easier to follow this example. In the PNID instruments, we later want to see data for manufacturer, model number and price. In PNID we also have properties for measuring type and range. Let's type in 20, 50 and T. The database viewer opens and we see all three data sets from our catalog. If we select model number 0002, we see the data of manufacturer, model number and price in the PNID properties of the instrument symbol. Let's change the temperature range from 20 to 50 to 20 to 60. The database viewer opens again because model number 0002 is not available for this temperature range. Let's select model number 0001 and we see the map data again. If you want to select a different model, use the context menu plant link assign data to open the database viewer. Let's select model number 0003. We see 0003 for model number. Let's change the temperature range to 50 to 60. As you can see, nothing changes. This is because model 0003 still covers the new temperature range. If you want to check, we open the database viewer again and we see that model 0003 covers the temperature range from 5 to 80. This example is just one of many use cases for this new feature of Plant Link. Besides this video, there will be a detailed technical video where we show how this example is configured. If you have questions for the product or this new feature of Plant Link, do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you for your attention.